Hello buddy, my name is Spix and I'm back with another video. Hello buddy, my name is Spix and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'll be giving away these text animation presets for Vegas Pro and I'll be showing you guys how to apply them, how to use them and so on and so forth. Now before we begin with the video, I would like to talk about this app called Skirmish. So basically it's a tournament app with real money prizes and all sorts of game modes like Zone Wars, Box Fights, Realistics and more. And since you guys been supporting me a ton, this week I'm giving away $200 in prize for money with my Zen teammate NZM. And all you gotta do is click the link in the description, download the app, sign up, select your platform, region and click on the LP sign. This is where you will see all the different tournaments happening right now and all you gotta do is sign up for the Zen and ZM tourney and then wait till it starts. Now the Zen and ZM tournament starts at February 15 from 7 to 9 p.m. GMT time. So make sure to not miss it and I'll be also linking Zen and ZM stream in the description. So when the tournament starts, you can also watch it live. But yeah, once again, thanks to Skirmish for sponsoring this video and let's begin with the video. So oh guys, here we are in the Google Drive. So you can get this link in the description. And what we have over here is the text presets, which can open with preset manager and the fonts folder, which has the three fonts that I mainly use. But anyways, now we can head on over to Vegas Pro. So now I'm going to showcase you the presets and how to use them in the best way possible. Just to clear some things off, you need Sapphire plugins before we start. Make sure to go in the description and where it says do this first, do those steps first. Also, if you want the plugin manager window like me, like you can drag presets like this. If you want this, the link for that is also in the description to teach you. But without out of the way, let's begin. So the first presets we got is bottom pop in and out. And the numbers mean how long the animation will last. So here we have 50 frames and that means it's gonna last 50 frames. Anyways, here we have a text and let's say you apply this one. So let's apply it. And as you can see, it will automatically do the, you know, popping in and popping out like this. You can also apply a different one, like 100 frames, and that means, you know, it will last for 100 frames. And now there's a cool way to customize this. So if you go to the video effects icon, and then if you just click on this arrow, go all the way to the end, you can see these four, like, unticked effects. Let's say you tick glow, as you can see the text will have glow. Um, let's say you tick cloud psycho your text will have the sort of rainbow thing, which is cool. You have rays and you have hue set saturation. And if you want to use the hue set, like bright, whatever, you want to apply it. And then you go, you want to go to the text and change the color to like something like purple. And once you have, you know, the color changed, as you can see, hue set bright will do this and change the color just like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So moving on, we have the image slide down and slide up presets. So you can use this for text or images, but it works better for images. So let's see what trying to start a video like me. So what I would do is I would apply the slide up A preset, which is A means for the first thing. So look like this. That's for the slide up A. And let's see you trying to end the video like this, but low, you know, in the opposite way. So you would go to the end of the video or you would go to the very end. You know, you wouldn't want the preset to start all the way from here. So we need to tell Vegas Pro where we want the preset to like sort of start the animation. So you want to go at the end, you want to double click over here and then go backspace minus 25. Then cut it and then apply the slide down B over here. And once applied, as you can see, the start will be over here and then will be over here. And, you know it will do this and then everything will be fine. So then the next presets we have is Insta text pop in and out. So these are sort of quick presets. So here we have the text. Let's see we're applying text pop in A. That's gonna last eight frames, sort of like a quick one like this. And as you can see, the text sort of is not in the middle. And that's because this text is supposed to be a little bit down. So make sure you drag your text sort of like on this level. And once you have it dragged on this level, as you can see, the text will sort of start how it's supposed to like this. And that looks nice. Now there's a way to use this preset efficiently. So here you have hello. And let's say I want to say hello, my name is Pixie. So what I would do is take this, copy it and paste it over here. And always click the first option over here and click OK. Here I have the second part. And then I would rename this to, you know, my And as you can see, it'll do sort of this thing. And I think that looks, you know, pretty nice. Hello, my, and then, you know, you could paste it again. And then it would say my name. Then you could paste it again.
But now let's see when I end it. So I wanted to like, you know, do the opposite of pop again. So I would go at the end and then it would go eight frames back. So double click over here, backspace, minus eight, cut it over here and apply the text popping out B preset. So this is the B one. This will pop out like this. So that's it with those presets. Now we have the middle pop in and out presets and these work the best for text and images so here i have an image and if you're a subscriber of my channel you know i use this in every single tutorial of mine so what i would do is i would apply a middle pop in and out over here and what this will do is of course you no know, pop in and pop in just like that now there's a way to sort of move it because if you went into here and moved it it wouldn't be as efficient so how i move my stuff is i go to pan and crop and then I go at the part where I can actually see the animation. So over here I can fully see how it pops in. Um, then what I do is I drag the position keyframe over here. So I make sure I don't keyframe anything else. It's just one keyframe. Then I right click, match output aspect. And then I zoom it out to my liking. So I like it like this. And as you can see it's zoomed out. And if I replay this, as you can see another thing is that it properly fades in. So as you can see it fades in like that and fades out and that's how you use you know the image text so i could show you another example so here i have you know my discord thing whatever and let's say I apply the middle pop in 100 and as you can see it's a little bit like off center and you can fix this as well so go to the pan and crop feature go to position make sure the keyframe you know is one keyframe uh, go to somewhere where you can actually see this and then right click match output aspect like this and then zoom it out you know then you can sort of make it go in the middle and if we replay this as you can see starts from the middle zooms out in the middle which is nice and of course you also have the customization so it has all the stuff that the text one had like cloud psycho um rays and hue set bright but most likely you won't be using this so it does not matter but yeah, that's about it with the middle pop in and out presets the last ones we got is text slide up text slide down a and b um, all i'm gonna do is apply it onto the text like this and as you can see it will go up and if you wanted to go down uh, you, you could go at the end of the text and then go 20 frames backwards so 20 and then cut it and then apply the b version so if i apply a text you know b uh, it will just go down like this and if you want to you can also use it for images so here i have an image over here and now what i would do is i would apply a text slide up like this and as you can see it will go up now we could do the same thing apply the b version and then it would go down but thank you so much for watching my name is pixie i'm out